Hi guys, welcome to another how to, you know, how to pinpoint. Uh, I'm always getting asked this question and people have, do have problems with uh, pinpoints, especially when they're starting off and detecting. Uh, one of the main reasons um, that I think is happening is one, they're using too high a sensitivity on their, their Equinox as we're showing in this example, but other coils on other detectors do the same thing. It's the thing I called edge detection. Now, you will see in the, the little, little clip that's going to come how the edge detection manifests itself and how it can affect your pinpointing greatly. But basically, um, what happens is people are find their signal, they're digging down, there's nothing there. But then they try again, find the signal, it's still there. What's happening, I think, is surface bits of metal uh, near the coil. Um, especially at high sensitivities, they could be picked up for quite a distance away. So you see in the clip that follows, uh, from at least 400 mil away, so you can be that far out with your, with your pinpoint and you're not realising what's actually going on. Uh, and on junk, very junky sites and Roman habitation, you know, all these all these old habitation sites, it does create an, an issue for people if they don't really know what's going on. So I'll just make this little video just to give you an example of edge detection with the coil and also how to uh, pinpoint afterwards. People are saying they're not sometimes miles off. Well, this tends to happen with what I call edge effect on the mine lab coils. It's right through the range, um, and you notice this is a plowshare just in front of me there. That was just lying on the surface. But as you come approach it, you can hear it starting to go off. You come back. Now that's 400 mil away. And you see why people get issues with, with bits of iron and things. There's a signal, mid-range, but it's, it's not detected under the coil, it's on the edge of the coil, that's why it gives that false reading. And as you get closer to it, it starts to pick the iron part up. Listen to that, even pumping, and it starts to break up again. And we're still getting it over there. And just a thing to bear in mind with the edge detection, one of the things I find raise the coil up a bit and if it's a big bit of iron it will start to break up but perfect example of edge detection on well guys i'm showing you about the edge detection you know, just about the my favorite method of pinpointing is basically using the drag back method some people like the cross method uh some like the drag back um but that's the one i favor but basically you just find the signal as you see on the clip that follows, you just uh, drag the coil back until it disappears. Then it's off the toe of the coil. Well, this is my favourite way of pinpointing. You hear that signal there. A lot of people would do the cross technique, but I don't think it's, it's just as accurate. What I like to do is just draw the coil back. Then once the signal disappears, it's right off the front of the coil. Same if you go forward. Same spot. Disappears just there. Well, let's get him dug up and see what he is. <laughs> Fell in the hole. just a, a button it shows the, the pinpointing just by using the front of your coil smack on well guys hope this little video has uh, helped you out on your pinpointing and realizing what could be happening uh, especially with the edge detection on some coils uh, that example I used here was using the Equinox with the 11 inch coil and had the sensitivity set at 22 and as you can see 400 mil away is quite a, a way out um, if you've got any large iron or bits of surface finds. You also find uh, this can happen as well with pinpointing when you get smaller bits of metal which are lying just under the surface. It can greatly affect your pinpointing technique. So hopefully this has helped you out in sussing out your, your finds in the field and I'll catch you in the next how-to. Cheers guys.